been sitting here for the past five or ten minutes trying to fix this hair. We're just gonna have to leave it like this. <laughs> so for today's video, as you can see, we have an empty video. Makeup, skincare. No, I don't have any makeup actually, sorry. I keep all my makeup until the end of the year, by the way. Just in case you're new here to my channel or you're new to my empties videos, I like to speak on this every other empties video, just in case you're not aware <laughs> and you're kind of wondering why I don't have any makeup in my empties it's because at the end of the year I do like a massive empties video on all of the makeup that I have used up throughout the year and I love it I love doing it. <laughs> this is the sunscreen that I use on my face. This is like my, my go-to. I absolutely love this. I've actually bought this on recommendation from James Welsh and it's the Thank You Farmer Sun Project Water Sunscreen. It's an SPF 50 and I love this. I will definitely be repurchasing this and will be continuing to do so. Whenever you start to massage it into the skin, it just goes invisible. It doesn't leave a white cast on your skin. It doesn't leave your skin looking overly greasy or oily. Even though I do have dry skin I sometimes have used or how I have in the past used some face sunscreens that leave my skin looking really really oily and I hate that um and it also doesn't sting my eyes <laughs> that's like a definite must have for me whenever it comes to a sunscreen and def I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this well definitely not considering I'm not even using the rest of it up but this is from the brand The Ordinary and it's their glycolic acid 7% toning solution as you can see I haven't even used it up but I am getting rid of it I, as you can see I've given it a core shot more than enough chances to be honest clearly but I am convinced that this breaks me out <laughs> I've went on to using it and then I go off using it and then I've went on using it and off using it because I find that I'm now convinced that it does break me out this stuff takes no prisoners this stuff is pretty heavy duty if you have very sensitive skin or broken skin or sunburn or just sensitive skin you might want to take it easy once a week using this stuff. So we have a wee Superdrug perfume and this is like a wee range of perfumes from Superdrug that are actually a jipping high-end perfumes. Stinks. Absolutely stinks. <laughs> Do you know what it smells like? It smells like my downstairs bathroom. So if you want to smell like my downstairs bathroom, pick it up. <laughs> I have a lot of wee small products to get through here so I'm literally just going to go through these. The Sukin... Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> this is the Sukin Super Greens Detoxifying Facial Scrub. This one here. The Emma Hardy Moisture Boost Vitamin C Cream. I definitely would not repurchase that. Um, it was fine. It was alright. It was just like a normal moisturiser. But I find that as I was like massaging it into my face it seemed to foam up and leave like a white cast and I hate when that happens with moisturizers. I hate it and I don't understand. I don't know why it happens. I have the Beauty Bay eye treatment. It's just a wee eye cream. It was all right. And then have the Aveda Thickening Tonic. This is just like a wee spray for your hair. I have the Tan Lux The Face Eliminating Soft Tan Drops. These are actually so nice. These are actually really, really nice. And it is quite of an expensive or like a pricey, uh, self tanning brand but these mm, they were hit or miss they definitely were hit or miss the when the times that I did have these on my skin like say the day after or the second day my skin looked beautiful I just would have had this really nice healthy healthy color to my skin I didn't look as if I died like two weeks ago and I'm still kicking up kicking about um just like a really nice healthy color and glow to my skin um that matched my neck <laughs> I have the Dr Jart Tiger Grass Sleep Pear Intensive Mask this is another product that I actually haven't used up I haven't used up Ugh, this isn't great again another product just like this that I have gave quite a few chances to but yeah I, I finally was like, I'm getting rid of it the other night, whenever I tried it for the last time. The only problem I seem to have with this is the fact that it seems to pull on my skin. And what I mean by that is, like, I'll wake up the next morning and it'll, like, uh, it'll be, like, rubbed off. It'll have, like, wee pulls on it or something. Oh my god, why can I not explain it? I think the problem or what I thought the problem might have been to start with was I have quite a few steps in my skincare routine and then I maybe would have finished with this and I find that maybe 
or I thought that I had so many products on my skin already that it took this too long to actually uh, get through to my skin or the other products on my skin were creating a barrier so this couldn't sink into my skin and it just felt as if it just sat on my skin. And then there was one night I just tried it just on its own and it still like peeled off and just, you know the way you apply a product, like say a primer and you just do this and it just rolls, you just get wee rolls of the product coming off, it's, that's basically just what I've done. I have this 43 Beauty Pineapple Face Polish which is believe me if I told you that it wasn't even me that used this up. <laughs> Kyle uses this and he has told me that he wants me to repurchase this so it must be a hit. <laughs> I have a couple of candles. This candle here won't come as a surprise. I think this candle has been in like every one of my empties in the past three months or something. The Purity Lab Coconut and Key Lime. And then I have this wee Rituals candle. And then I went through this wee hair mask from Sol de Janeiro. <laughs> oh, I hate absolutely butchering words. This is their hair repair treatment. Beautiful. Really, really nice. This is like the wee small travel size version, by the way. And it has that really nice iconic scent. Stunning. Stunning, mate. <laughs> absolutely beautiful like see having that scent on your body from the bum bum cream or the wee body spritzers but it's mm, it's a different kind of scent having it in your hair it smells so so good i have another wee skincare product from nip and fab i actually just put this in the empties bag last night and this is the salicylic fix serum now yeah i definitely will not re be repurchasing this. This was odd. This was really, really odd. Um, this is again another product that's not completely empty by the way. I just, I don't know. I just did not like this. I don't really feel like it done anything for my skin. Considering the fact that I wouldn't necessarily be acne prone or breakout prone. I think maybe it's because I don't have the skin type for this type of product so therefore I can't really be like, oh, it done nothing for me but it did nothing for me. And also the formulation of this product and the consistency of it. <laughs> this was like um, jam. Like you pumped it out and it was a clear jelly. The only way I can describe it is, you know the Milk Hydro Grip Primer? You know, or the e.l.f. one? That, that, uh, that texture, that look, everything. It was sticky. And this is a skincare product to put on your face at night time. It was literally like just marmalade or jam on your face at night. Not very pleasant. <laughs> the Ameliorade Smoothing Body Exfoliant. This was actually not too bad. And I feel really bad saying this, that it wasn't great because this brand does the best body lotion. Ever. <laughs> a Revolution Tannin Butter. This was the medium one. Now as you can see I definitely went through this. <laughs> and yeah, this was very very nice actually. I definitely would repurchase. Definitely. Um, I use these products to maintain my tan. Obviously throughout the days, weeks, not weeks, that's gross. <laughs> um, throughout like the, the week and the days and stuff of me having my tan on and everything. I just kind of find that it just maintains my tan looking more healthy and stuff and obviously adding that wee bit of hydration to my skin as well. I went through a got to be glued hairspray. These are the new shampoo and conditioners from Beauty Bay. I did buy a certain collection where you got a bundle. It was like the strengthen and hydrate bundle. You got the shampoo and conditioner, you got the hair mask, the hair serum and the hair oil. That was it. And do you know what? I was actually really looking forward to trying these but yeah, I, I wasn't impressed. These weren't great actually. I ended up finishing these on my wig and my, my hair pieces. They weren't great. I don't like the packaging. You literally would have been standing in the shower trying to squeeze the life. Like, the packaging is too hard. First world problems, my God. But oh my God, how can you go so wrong with <laughs> shampoo and conditioner? Kitchen. 
No. <laughs> no, it just it was just too hard, too too hard. Yeah, and obviously with the conditioner being really rich and thick, it was just a freaking nightmare to get out, if that makes sense. But other than that, they weren't great. They weren't that great, to be honest. I used up a couple of more wee tannin products, my St. Moritz tannin lotion. Anybody that wants to know what tan I ever use, this is it. <laughs> and then the Garnier Ombre Solaire Natural Face Tan Mist. I love this. I love this. And I have noticed you can now get this in home bargains. If you're ever in home bargains and you're looking for a really nice fake tan for your face, try it. It is so, so good. It's just like an aerosol can. It's a mister. It is freaking amazing. This kind of just fades gradually and it just looks so, so nice. I go through these like hot dinners. I'm not joking. They're so, so handy. I buy these in bulk and it is the most beautiful colour. So a product I've actually already repurchased <laughs> is from Beauty Bay. It's one of their own wee skincare products and this is the nourishing oil, the hemp and rosehip oil. I love a good old rosehip oil. They're so, so nice. Don't ask me why though. Oh no, 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 no. Don't ask me why I love a rosehip oil. Don't ask me what it does for my skin. <laughs> is anybody else like this? I was sitting doing my skincare last night and I was just doing my retinol. I was at that stage in my skincare routine. I don't use retinol every night. I will maybe use it two or three times a week. But I was just, you know, massaging it into my skin and stuff. And it was like, I have no idea why I'm using this. What is this? Why am I using it? What? What are the benefits? What is the purpose of me using this product? See, whenever it comes to skincare, I haven't a baldy. I haven't a clue. <laughs> and I have to say, I'm like that with quite a lot of skincare products. I'm definitely not clued in and I'm definitely not educated with skincare. I feel like skincare is just so advanced these days. I just, oh my God. Like you nearly need a degree for people to like actually take you seriously when you're talking about skincare. Um, but this, I don't know, this, I've been using rosehip oil for so many years at this point. Another good one is by the brand Pie. It is quite expensive though. Well, it's, it's, it's pricey enough like, but honestly, they're just the same. Basically the same thing, to be honest. I kind of hop in between one or the other, but if you want to try rosehip oil for the first time, definitely get this one from Beauty Bay. It is so, so good and it will honestly last you a wild, wild long time. The oil itself is like bright orange, <laughs> so don't be alarmed. This just really, really nicely moisturizes and nourishes my skin. I will use my rosehip oil and I will wake up the next day and my skin just looks so much better. And I've said that before so many times when I'm talking about a rosehip oil. I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The only way I can just, the only thing, a positive I can give you is, is the fact that I just really, really like it and my skin looks awesome the next day. And you're just going to have to take my word for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. And like, as I say, I've, I've already repurchased it. It is so, so good. If it's on sale and I already have a bottle of it, I'll buy another one because it is wild, wild good. I have a rose hip oil in here and a rose hip oil in, uh, in our bedroom like they're just it's just a really really nice oil however i don't use it every night because i sometimes find that with a bit of oil it is quite heavy um i don't need to use it every night um i will kind of switch up my skincare routine two to three times a week i'll use this and i definitely notice a difference with it my skin definitely like the next day it's so so good so definitely try the hemp and rosehip oil from beauty bay it's wild wild good <sighs> and that's it. <laughs> that's my empties for this month, guys. That was that was actually quite a lot. I kind of feel like my empties are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And that is just definitely something I'm trying to do at the minute. I have noticed I've just I'm just trying to really condense down my life. Um, especially my skincare or my makeup collection. I'm doing a lot of selling of makeup on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, honestly, that's where I literally sell my makeup. I've been very, very cut through. Obviously, as you've seen, I've done a massive declutter there. 
like a month, a month and a half ago. It's on my YouTube. I filmed it for you. And you know what makes you realise you have far too much stuff? Moving house. Moving house. Oh my god. Moving house and then like boxing it all up and then freaking having to unbox everything <laughs> and find it at home. That's whenever you think to yourself, I have far too much freaking stuff. If I'm able to list and link most of these products down below, of course I will. Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.